In this video, we will show how to use a cord lock 3D object with a pattern piece cord. We begin with creating the cord pattern. We insert a rectangle the length of the exposed cord. Next, set the height to be the width of the cord. If using a round cord, we double the height so that we can create a loop. Then we create symmetry. We stitch the top and bottom of the rectangle to create a loop. Next, we add a point at the center of each end and make it a corner point. Stitch the ends together. Add an internal line down the center of the cord. Make the line a soft fold line. Stitch the cord to the garment. Set the layer order. We will also lower the grid size since our pattern is very small. And arrange and dress the cords. Next, we download the cord lock from the Browser Library under Seams and Trims. Then we need to confirm the 3D trim orientation. Selecting the 3D Object Editor, a pop-up will appear. If you do not see the pop-up, select Set Orientation. If you want the toggle facing up, use the vertical and facing options so that the trim looks like this. If you want the toggle facing down, Use the vertical and facing options so that the trim looks like this. Then click OK. Next, we can adjust the size. Lastly, we need to create line connectors. Click on the Connectors tab. Holding Alt, we click and drag in the 3D Trim Editor window so our trim looks like this. Next, we add a line connector. This is what we'll use to stitch the trim to the cord. Select Line. Hovering over the outer edge of a hole, click once at the top, then once at the bottom to create the line connector. Do the same to the inner edge hole facing you. We need to add the line connectors on the other side. Hold Alt click and drag so the trim looks like this. Now we repeat the previous steps, adding two line connectors. Click away to close the 3D object editor. Next, we need to create internal lines on the cord to stitch to. We will create two sets of lines closer to the ends of the cord. These are the part of the cord that will go through the cord lock holes. With the pen tool, draw one internal line close to the edge. Draw a second internal line at the center over the fold line. It can be useful to lock the fold line so that it is not accidentally selected. We repeat on the other side of the cord. Now we add the cord lock by dragging and dropping it into the 2D workspace. Repeat for the second cord lock. 
Adding the 3D object like this makes it a standalone object in our workspace rather than an attachment. This lets us stitch to the line connectors on the object. We will also need to arrange the 3D object. Note, we won't see the 3D object in the 3D window until it is stitched. Next, we stitch the cord to the cord stopper. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the direction of the 3D object. In the 2D window, it is flat, so it can be tricky to identify the proper stitching. Turning textures off, it's easier to see the four lines on the 3D object. These lines show the edges of the holes in the cord lock. We stitch the internal line at the center of the cord to the outermost line on the cord lock. Then stitch the internal line nearest the edge to the innermost line of the cord lock. Re-repeat for the other side. Be sure to check that none of the stitches look crossed when the cord lock is centered over the cord pattern. Repeat for the other cord lock. Before we can dress, we need to set the layer order of the 3D object. Since we added them as standalone objects, they will also have a layer. Now we can dress. In this video, you've learned how to use the 3D object cord lock. For more information, check out the Browser Help Center.